Okay, we need a fire. I haven't got one, clearly, but I've got a Neo. So, put that on. Go into menu, set SFX. And there I am, at settings that I always use for this. Nice thing is, because it's numeric, that's casting a nice light on our actress. But what I would like, is just in the back of the room, a little bit more of this light. So I've got a second Neo here, and I just copy the numbers that are on the back. Simple as that. There you go. This setup here has got one practical lamp in. I could have done it with just the rolling case of three Neos. I happen to have more around, so I put a little bit more in the back wall, so I'm using four Neos, but strictly I could go without that one. It wouldn't make much difference. You could just do this whole scene with those three Neos. So I've got that one there. That's casting the light on the subject here. A little bit of front fill, and to show what she's looking at, I've got a little pool of light on here. That's my second Neo. That I've got on a tungsten setting. That's a tungsten setting on both of those with just a half orange added to it to give it a warm firelight. Nothing fierce, just a warm firelight. Camera is set to 4300. So that's two plus a cheat Neo. Follow me around the back. This is set to full blue. This is in the special effects functions. There's the lightning in there, which I've already adjusted and trimmed to settings that I, I know I like. And I, I've added like about a half blue filter to that. So now we're almost a full blue away from the way the camera's set. That way I'm not adding too much filtration to the lamp and removing too much power out of the light. One push on the right button, there's the lightning. I simply give a command and somebody presses that. Cam's rolling. Rob? Cut. Got that. So these are the two components of that shot. There's the firelight, and Rob, uncover it, and that's the lightning. 